I'm riding with Mackenzie. She's learning to drive this Challenger. Have you even ever drove this? Nope. Wow, she's slacking. Anyway. <laughs> you got the window open. Hold on. There we go. Now we got some rain um, yesterday. We got about an inch and a half over the last day and a half or so. And that's caused for mud. So we are using the tractors and dump carts and we're still making ear ledge so we're uh we're still getting it done even though it's muddy out oh, i gotta finish those um are you having fun yeah it's okay yeah i don't mind it do you like this better than the straight truck okay yeah since this is your first Time. My neck has a crink in it. Sorry, I burped. Your neck has a crink in it? Already? Yeah, because I'm not used to looking going out. all the way back. Oh. Look at you go.
help finish your yawn. It's a tiring day. It's so tiring. Um, Sanders is stuck. Which he's way back there. I don't know why he's stuck. The tractor. Is it really muddy there? How many we times has he got? Yeah, we'll drive over. So, how's it been going? I'm riding with her. They've been um, hauling all afternoon, and it's getting supper time. And I thought I would just check up on you, <laughs> make sure you're doing okay. You think that I can survive? Yeah, I think you can. You've been doing good. That's I haven't good. got stuck. Dad almost got stuck once. Dad in the chopper. What is my hair? I have a rooster tail. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Oh. Well, this is a wet spot. No wonder this is where he gets stuck. Yeah. This Remember 2019? This, whole this field, field was the was worst. worst. It was the worst I've ever, ever seen. Ooh, this is, this is soupy. This is fun. Yeah, you drive right through it, too. You could have been over there. Oh, you're doing good. Nobody would get stuck in that. Oh, they're not stuck. No. That is not a good sign. Look at the sky. And the trees. I gotta take pictures. Oh, so pretty. I wonder Remember if something happened to the, the chopper. Like four years ago, you took a picture of me and the corn was about four or five feet taller than my head. Yeah, big corn. It's so tall here. What are we doing? I don't know, but I'm gonna pull up right behind it. Okay. See the trees? Very pretty. It's raining over there. Sure is. Oh, it looks like I don't are see under the chopper. It. Ooh, that's not good. Hold on tight, little Bessie. You call me Bessie? Sure am. Hmm. Sanders could go dump. Yeah. I can even go help Dad. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back. Whoops. Ooh. So we got the chain fixed. We're gonna go home, eat some supper, but look. Isn't that pretty? Kevin says it could snow tonight. I don't wanna believe that. But we're heading home. <laughs>
back okay? It's not turning. Can you back it up? I wonder. Oh. You know yeah. My foot clutch went. Oh. Uh, you back truck up under the car? Yeah. finished our ear ledge for 2022 today and so that's a good feeling we have about 10 more acres of corn that we were we planted for ear ledge but since our pile is full full like Sydney's having a hard time pushing it up and getting it all packed um, just because of the space that we have it's kind of a small space Hopefully next year we can keep adding concrete in the area, but this year we doubled. We've at least doubled the amount of earlage that we harvested um, compared to last year. So we have quite a bit of earlage, but we do have probably maybe 10 acres. I don't really know how many acres that is left of corn standing in the field. But it feels good to be done with earlage. We have to finish packing the pile and then cover it, let it ferment, and yeah, we'll be good for many months. So that's a good feeling. And uh, yeah, thankfully nothing went wrong. The head, um, with the head, like like I showed you, it was just too much, too much product going through. He was pushing it a little too fast. And so um, he just had to slow down. So no major issues with the chopper, which is always a good thing. All right, I will see you in the next video. Until then, have an amazing day.